la empresa estadounidense New Fortress Energy, anunció a finales del 2023 la conclusión de su instalación de la planta de liquefacción flotante ubicada frente a la costa de Altamira en Tamaulipas, siendo la primera en su tipo en México teniendo una inversión de mil millones de pesos generando 600 empleos de alta especialidad. La nueva plataforma marítima se compone del tendido de tubería que se conecta con el gasoducto marino Texas Tuspan, para la recepción de gas y con los tres módulos elevados denominados Painier 1, 2 y 3, permiten el procesamiento y tratamiento del gas de licuefacción y de servicios. Posteriormente se envía el gas natural licuado a la unidad de almacenamiento flotante para esperar su venta en el mercado, de modo que por primera vez en la historia México se convierte en exportador de gas natural licuado. Asimismo, el 29 de enero del 2024 New Fortress Energy recibió la autorización por parte de la Oficina de Aduanas y Protección Fronteriza de Estados Unidos para exportar gas natural licuado producido en la planta flotante de licuefacción, con lo que le permite llevar a cabo las acciones de venta y suministro del hidrocarburo a países asociados con Estados Unidos y Puerto Rico. Cabe mencionar que en julio del 2022 New Fortress Energy y la empresa estatal Comisión Federal de Electricidad firmaron el convenio de colaboración para usar la infraestructura de CFE Internacional para transportar el gas natural de Estados Unidos a través del gasoducto en Bronzeville para su exportación a México, pasando por el gasoducto marino sur que va de Texas a Tuspan para suministrar la planta de licuefacción flotante. Por lo que este contrato, la CFE tiene una participación del 10% como parte de la venta del gas natural en Europa, cuyos ingresos aproximados serán de 5.730 millones de dólares durante la duración del contrato con vigencia de 15 años. Asimismo, en junio de 2023, New Fortress Energy obtuvo un permiso por parte de la Secretaría de Energía, el cual autoriza a la compañía la exportación de hasta 7.8 millones de toneladas métricas de gas natural hasta abril de 2028, así que con los permisos de México y Estados Unidos, New Fortress Energy puede iniciar la venta de gas natural licuado desde México al mercado internacional, principalmente europeo. This is an exciting day for us as we prepare to sail away Pioneer 3, the first of our three rigs that we've converted from drill rigs to an LNG facility. This rig is the epicenter of all activity. This houses the control system, the living quarters, and all the utilities for our LNG facility. All of our operations will be centered here on this rig and will support our other two rigs, Pioneer 1 and 2, which house the gas treating facility and the liquefaction facility to nominally produce 1.4 million tons of LNG that we'll be exporting from offshore Altamira, Mexico. So we're here to celebrate the first milestone, which is the hot top. Now that we have the hot tap completed, I'm gonna take you so you can see where the meter station is going to be, and that's where we're gonna receive our first gas. Very excited to see that. Come on. This is our meter station. The meter station is basically the custody transfer where we can measure the gas. So the gas is coming through that riser, the pipeline green that you see over there, and it's gonna come through some pipes and it's gonna arrive here to the meter station. Now we're gonna be able to start flowing gas in through the platform so we can uh, remove all the impurities 
and when we can be ready to send the gas to P2 so we can start the liquefaction. I am very excited about this project because this is going to be the first time that Mexico is going to produce LNG and we are all very happy to be here achieving these big milestones. Hi, my name is Chris Jones. I'm with New Fortress Energy. My role in this project is Managing Director of Pipelines. My role allows me to bring feed gas from around the United States, it's collected in a pipeline, and it's transported subsea to this facility. This facility then takes the natural gas in gas form, runs it through treatment and liquefaction to produce LNG that can be shipped around the world via cargo. I'm really excited today to talk about this major milestone we're achieving at First Gas. First Gas comes from a subsea pipeline about two kilometers off the rigs. We hot tap into the 42-inch, 3,000-pound high-pressure gas line. It flows subsea all the way up to the rigs, coming up the riser legs. These riser legs bring the gas up where we go through our safety systems to make sure everything is secure and safe. Then it flows up and it comes into our meter system where we meter it and we make sure that it is ready for custody transfer into our overall facility. First Gas is a huge milestone for the project and for NFB. It's the key to us getting the facility online to be able to commission the liquefaction facilities. I am so excited about this project and what it does for the local community. This brings many, many new jobs and many, many new opportunities locally, economically here to Altamira in the Tampico area. And it plays a key role in lifting energy poverty around the world by allowing us to produce LNG and ship it across the world. The next big milestone on this project is to take first gas, move it through the system, get it treated and move it to the liquefaction. It brings us to first LNG. So excited because that means we're getting so close to first cargo. Si eres nuevo en el canal, suscríbete para más contenidos, recuerda seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales.